Ernst Vernon K. It's the last one. Can you believe it? Hello and welcome to the last in the series of Beat the Star, where once again we're giving away a massive amount of cash, but only if our challenger can beat the star. Tonight's show is extra special because we're going to be replaying some of the best games of the series. If over these seven games our challenger can win more points than tonight's star, they'll go home with the contents of this briefcase. £50,000. <laughs> Now, last week, Rachel from East Sussex beat the legendary Martina Navratilova. So, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to meet tonight's challenger? Yes! Good. He's the toughest challenger we've had to date, and I'll tell you why. Put very simply, he's a Royal Marine. I'm Marty, I'm 34, and I'm a Royal Marine. Come on, man! Come on! My job involves training the recruits on the assault courses. We can train just about anybody, providing they're mentally strong enough to pull up with a hardship. I've got a tough side to me for my job, but when I get home to my family, uh, it's all about spending quality time with my daughter and my wife. He is the most competitive person I know. Very competitive. And his mum would agree with me. <laughs> I'm focused uh, completely. Every day I'm now training twice a day and doing stuff mentally to prepare myself for the show. Whoever I'm up against has got itself a strong competition. Marty. How are you doing, Vernon? Very good, thank you, Marty. Uh, hearty handshake. Thank Definitely you. tell you're a Royal Marine. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Now, first things first, you've brought your friends and family with you, you brought your beautiful uh, yes. wife. But the thing is, you've got more pressure, I think, personally, on this show than any competitor we've had to date. And mainly because you're going to get loads of grief from the lads if you fail tonight, aren't you? The lads have said if I lose, I might as well take the berry off and become a postman. <laughs> Right, well, good luck, mate. Thank good you. luck. Uh, let's just get one thing clear. You don't know who you're facing tonight. I haven't got a clue. Right. Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, a Commonwealth champion, a European champion, and an Olympic medal winner. It's you and Thomas! Oh, it's not you and Thomas. How are you, Chen? How are you? You look a little confused. Nice yeah. to meet you, Marty. Good to nice see you, mate. You I'm uh, a little bit confused. You will be a little bit confused. Not as confused as me, my I'm friend. Gonna, uh, <laughs> I'm going to explain this uh, to you now because you won't be up against you and Thomas throughout the show. You will, in fact, be up against another star. This one. <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, this is a completely normal show with the seven best games of the series. But Vernon, uh, obviously, as you are the star tonight, you can't be the presenter. So I'm going to do it. Okay. <laughs> Would you take your earpiece out, please? Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. And this can, is. Can, can I just? Sorry to interrupt. It's all but, right. Uh, your show. I, I, I just want to let everyone know at home that. Through the whole of this series, I've said, that is an easy game. Anyone can win that game. <laughs> and I think it was at the beginning of the week, I turned around to one of the executive producers of this show and I said, I reckon I could have beaten every competitor <laughs> and every star. That I've we've actually, uh, I've got, in my pocket here, I've got the exact quote, as a matter of fact. <laughs> the exact quote is, I could beat any of the stars or any of the challenges we've had so far in any of the challenges we've done. <laughs> Those are your words, Vernon. Yes. Yes. I admit that. Do I you stand that. by those words, 
Vernon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we'll see, but I mean, in all honesty, you know, pure respect to you, Marty, a Royal Marine, I think I've got my work cut out. <laughs> <laughs> so, you are a very competitive bloke. I don't like lose. Uh, you know, you'll know more than anyone, you I don't like to lose. Mm. You're very competitive. Yeah, good luck, Marty. American football? <laughs> yeah, I used, to, I used to play a lot of American football, uh, I used to play a lot of uh, competitive... Like, uh, cross-country at school. Look, I played every school game and I was always in the first team. I uh, didn't like being in the second team, so I fought hard enough to get myself back into the first team if I was dropped. Well, so. let's move on with the show now then, Vernon, <laughs> and let's see how you do, because you've talked about it a lot. Oh, now you've got to compete. Oh. Could I have your whistle, please? Yes. <laughs> There's the Beat the Star whistle and the Beat the Star coin. Thank you very you much. <laughs> Great. I you better get changed. So you, uh, oh. you know... <laughs> He's yeah. even adopted the position. Yeah. There we are. I'm, I'm, the, the, I'm the presenter in the middle. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, um, You're dead, you <laughs> In you come, guys. Right. Now, you know the games that we're going to play because you've been rehearsing your lines yeah, uh, all right. afternoon. Yeah. Um, we've told you what you're playing today so that you're not at a, a disadvantage. Okay. So you do know yep. what you're doing and we're on an equal That's playing correct, yeah. field. Good. OK, good. good. So for everyone at home, here are the seven best of Beat the Star games that Vernon and Marty will be competing in tonight. Frida the Cow returns to the dairy in game one. It's the squeeze. Two cars and one large ball. It's every boy's dream in car ball. Then it's the game that defeated a world-class boxer and a frontline copper. Will the poles stump our boys a second time? Game four. Taste buds are put to the test in Blind Man's Buffet. Then a test of speed and sheer power in Nail It. It's a battle of the brains in Mind the Gap. And if we get to game seven, we end the series with a test of true grit, stamina and strength. It's Hang Bar. So I'm just going to confirm, Vernon, that you haven't... You haven't played any of the games we're going to play this evening. There, everyone, uh, I've always wanted to jump in and, you know, uh, during rehearsals, I've always tried to either get in a car during car ball. I've wanted to get up the pole, but no, everyone said, no, you can't do it, you can't do it, and now I know why. <laughs> so, Marty, how do you feel? We've done a bit of a switch on you here. More confident. Do you? <laughs> One thing, right? To all the lads at the barracks where Marty's based, if he loses tonight, you have got to rip him, <laughs> rip him to pieces, because there'll be nothing worse for him to go back to uh, the barracks and say, "I lost fifty grand to burn again." <laughs> this is how. <laughs> This is how it works. There are seven games, each of which is worth an increasing amount of points. The person with the most points at the end of the show wins. If it's Marty, he goes home with £50,000. If it's Vernon, he walks out of here with his reputation as a presenter and a sports fanatic intact. Can I have a shake of hands, please? Good luck, man. Good luck. The very best of luck to both of you. It's Beat the Star Game 1. Gentlemen, let me introduce you to Frida the Cow. Come here on. she is. <laughs> You're on this side, of course, Vernon. Over here. You're the star in red. Over you go, Marty. Thank you very much. Now, would you put your uh, your protective shoes on there? And you've got you've got an apron, and you've also got your stool. You know what you've uh, yeah, yeah, what you've yeah, got to yeah, do. Yeah, do you want yeah, me to take yeah. your jacket off? Yeah, it is an expensive flip. jacket. Vernon, didn't you take her out for a drink the other night? <laughs> <laughs> I believe this is your ex-girlfriend, Marty. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Now, Dan, the policeman, of course, beat Amir Khan at uh, this game when we played it before. Uh, I'll just remind you uh, of, of the rules. The aim of the game is to squeeze more milk from the cow's udder than their opponent. Whoever gets the most milk in their bucket after 90 seconds wins. Marty, how do you feel now? A little bit nervous. Are you? Standing next to um, the cow. Yeah, so have you have never done anything like this before? No. No. OK, the, your marine training didn't involve cow milking. <laughs> So, if you would like to now gently and carefully adopt the position, <laughs> you go on my whistle. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, how's your technique, Vernon? <laughs> That's looking good. How are you doing, Marty, there? Let me come round and just have a... There's not a lot coming out there, Marty. 
Down and away. Down and away. That's it. Gently. Oh, she's kicked the bucket over. You've got the net. Well, Vernon's doing very well here. There's almost enough for a milky coffee. <laughs> got, more, got more on my hand than in my bucket. Marty, how you doing? Not bad. She's having trouble aiming. I think you're having trouble aiming. It's not her job. <laughs> down and away, down and away. Gently does it, gently does it. That's it. There you go. There's a lot of it going on her hoof. Nice and gentle. Down and away, down and away. That's lovely. Good. Vernon, you seem to dried up a bit over there. Ooh. All right, Frida. Oh, what's happened, Vernon? You started off so well. I know. She's gone a bit dry on me. <laughs> Whoa. Steady on, steady on. Whoa. There we go. There we go. Nice and gentle. Come on, there we go. Time's running out. This is the last time for a spurt. Two, one. That's it. Stop milking. Time's up. Pick up your bucket, gentlemen. <laughs> so, Vernon, you are the star, so I'm going to measure your milk first. Yep. And, uh, and here we go. Very precious, this, isn't yeah, it? Steady eh? on, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. And there it is. Oh, you've impressed the audience. Thanks, Marty. It looks close. Let's have a look. Here we go. And. Oh! 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 You've done it! Let the bubble settle. Did you see here? I think I've just done I it. I think you have just done it. It's Marty's. <laughs> Very good. Take off your uh, take off your stools, gentlemen, and follow me over here. Come over there. Well done, Vernon. Very good. Oh dear, so you've uh... wet white Marty. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Would you need a wet wipe? A bit of milk on your arms, you need a wet it's wipe. Milk, this, milk is gonna be a, this is going to be a long <laughs> evening. <laughs> so, what was your technique? Uh, cuff it. Cuff it. Yeah? What is that? Is that a Marine's uh, technical term? It's a term? Marine's term for make it up as you go along. Uh, good, good. Right. Which you did, and it worked it perfectly. Worked. We're going to mark him up on the scoreboard now. With that first point, this is what it looks like. This is one step further to £50,000. Marty. He's He's off the mark, but there are plenty more points to be won tonight. Gotcha. <laughs> Marty, are you ready to play on? I am, yes, sir. Good. You ready to play on? Bring it on. Good. It's Beat the Star, game two. <laughs> it's car ball, and it's for two points. There are the cars out on the pitch. So, gentlemen, would you uh, walk with me, please? Well, tonight, Marty could walk out of here with £50,000, but only one thing stands in his way. It's this man, Beat the Star presenter, Vernon Kay. <laughs> Can Marty win Carball and get one step closer to £50,000? Find out after the break. Coming up, it's not just Carball that Marty has to master, as Vernon causes controversy from 10 metres up. Churchill, I challenge you to chop that plank of wood in half with your bare paws. Do you accept the challenge? Oh, yeah. yeah. Right then, we're all packed. Yeah, I'm actually just showing Dad a few tricks. Oh, don't forget to pack it then. <laughs> oh, hello, darling. <laughs> You're very good, aren't you smart? I'm getting quicker, aren't I? Let's look at this, Gran. He recognises my voice. <laughs> Nintendo DS Lite, now available in green, red and turquoise. Rimmel London's new Glamise Waterproof Mascara. New Volume Flex Brush. Waterproof Formula. Fuller looking lashes with lasting glamour. Lashings of seduction. Get the London look. New Glamise Waterproof from Rimmel London. most convenient plaster from Elastoplast. It's flexible, completely waterproof, 
invisible and helps protect wounds like a second skin against germs, dirt and bacteria. Elastoplast Spray Plaster. It sprays on and stays on, even in awkward places. Whether it's hay fever or sheep, no hay fever brand treats more allergies than Pyrotin. What if you had to move like your baby? Unlike Pampers Active Fit, new Huggies Natural Fit are shaped between and around the legs. Huggies Natural Fit, shaped for busy babies. Gate Complete Care Follow-On Milk provides key nutrients for growth, helps promote healthy digestion, helps support some natural defences. Cow and Gate Complete Care, because healthy babies are happy babies. It's back of the net, your chance to win the ultimate home kit. Featuring a 42-inch LCD TV, a PlayStation 3, a fridge full of beer, and your very own football table. For your chance to win, just tell us who's back of the net. A. Cameron Diaz, B. Jordan, or C. Julia Roberts. Phone 0901 293 3433. Or text the word NET, followed by A, B, or C, plus your name and town to 83788. Calls and texts cost a pound, plus your standard network rates. Mobile rates may vary. We challenge Churchill to chop a plank of wood in half with his bare paws. Chop! Finish, madam! Churchill loves a challenge. Welcome back to Beat the Star. I'm Philip Schofield and you join us where 34-year-old Marty Aldrich from Devon is taking on Beat the Star presenter Vernon Kay in a valiant bid to win himself 50 thousand pounds. Vernon, you are the star, which is why you're in the red jumpsuit. Marty, of course, you're the challenger, so you're in the blue jumpsuit. In game one, Marty won the first point in the squeeze. Now, before we move on to game two, here's the tale of the tape. Trying to beat the star is our challenger, Marty Aldrich, a Royal Marine from Devon. He's 34, he's five foot nine and weighs 13 stone. He's got two GCSEs and is a qualified mountaineering, mountain biking, kayak and power boat instructor. Our star tonight is Vernon Kay, a television presenter from Bolton. He's 34, he's six foot four, weighs 12 and a half stone. He's got 10 GCSEs, two A-levels and graduated from Manchester Metropolitan University with an HND in in environmental science. Is that all true? Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, it all means nothing, of course, exactly. because you're going to play cardboard <laughs> <Yeah>. now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, whoever scores the most goals after three minutes will win. It's as simple as that. Take Brilliant. your positions in your cars, you, gentlemen. Gentlemen. The very best of luck. Away you go. And I will point out at this point, should you even remotely think about doing this yourself, then don't. These are proper cars, special cars, proper safety equipment, and, uh, and it is all hugely safe and above board, so don't do it. And where are you gonna find a big ball like that? Whilst they're getting themselves kitted up, I'll hand you over to our commentator, David Goldstrom. Thanks, Philip. Identical VW Golfs for both of our contenders, each equipped with a full roll cage for their personal protection, along with four-point racing harnesses. Now, these cars are left-hand drive, which makes them a little less familiar to both men. However, they do have five-speed gearboxes, although I doubt they'll need all of those gears. So, both of them in their respective goal zones. Over to Dermot. Smart start by Marty on the left in his car with the blue markings. Vernon holding back for the rebound, and that's worked out pretty well. Vernon accelerating, looking for the offside nudge, gets it. Marty reversing, and the ball, though, is behind him, and it's the goalpost that comes to his rescue. Remember, this is not a contact sport, and Marty's done just enough to close the door. Although, look at that ball rolling perilously close to Marty's goal line. 
Now this is not easy for Marty to try and get rid of that ball. Vernon looking again to come around the back and Marty just in time throws it into reverse. And he reverses again. Vernon now accelerating. Marty's lost his gear. And Vernon says thank you very much and goes in and takes the first score. Well, it was really good driving there by Vernon. He was given the opportunity. Marty was seemingly struggling for a gear. You see, threw it in reverse, didn't get back into first gear. And Vernon opens the scoring and the star goes one goal to the good. Plenty of time though. Marty, having given away the first goal, has the kickoff. And once again, it's Vernon who gets a pretty decent bounce. And now looking to, again, come round the side. This time it's the offside nudge. And now a near side nudge coming into the corner which is banked to try and keep the ball into play. And Marty is all at sea here. Vernon's got the initiative, it's rolling towards the goal. Another little offside nudge, and that's 2-0 in double quick time. And Vernon, who loves cars, is really enjoying this. Always wanted to play this game, but he never has until this moment. 2-0 up, but the best part of two minutes remaining, so this can be done. Remember Brenton Amade? against Mark Foster. He came from two down to take it three goals to two. So for the third time, Marty Aldrich, our Royal Marine, kicks off and now paying a rare visit down to the star's end, pushes it towards the goal and Vernon just in the nick of time there blocks. He did that really well though. Fair play to the star. And uh, now the initiative back with Marty. Vernon, you've got to play. You can't just sit there. Oh, shut up. Come on. Uh, Vernon not too appreciative of the words there from Dermot, our referee. On the other hand, it might be the wise thing here for Marty to leave the ball with Vernon to force him to do something and try and take the advantage of a rebound off Vernon. Down with a little over 60 seconds to go now and still two goals to be found to equalise this up and force it perhaps even into a golden goal. Vernon just blocks there, he's not doing anything with the ball. Marty struggling to find a way round, and the two of them now are effectively bumper to bumper. And Dermot's decided to intervene for a roll in here to get the thing going. In we go, now Marty must make this count. And in fact, it's Vernon who's won the battle of that and he's in the clear, heading towards Marty's goal, just needs a near side nudge. Marty coming in and just blocks it, but the ball's momentum takes it into the goal as the two cars touch. But that was a little bit of 50-50. You can see here, Vernon, the rebound off the goalpost into his bonnet was fortuitous as the two men touched, but that was six of one and half a dozen of another, I think. And it's three goals now to the star with very few seconds remaining. 15 seconds now and it'll be a consolation goal. I think that's all that Marty can look forward to. Vernon once again on the attack. He's been pretty aggressive all the way through this. Marty struggled to get to terms with the star who clearly has loved every moment of this. Two, one, there's the hooter. And the two points for Carball go to Vernon, the star. Started pretty well for Vernon, seizing the opportunity as Marty reversed and struggled for the gear to put the first goal away. And throughout the match, always alert in taking the advantage of getting the rebound off his opponent. And here with the third goal, a little bit more fortunate here because the ball, in fact, coming back onto his bonnet off the post as the two men uh, came together for a mild touch. But this was Vernon's game. <laughs> Have you come, Marty? Well, that was outrageously competitive. Outrageously fun. Yeah? Brilliant. What Brilliant you expected? Fun. Yeah, definitely. I didn't think the clutch uh, would last as long as it did, to be honest with you. <laughs> and Marty, uh, I'm well beaten there. That's one game down, but I'll, I'll put it back on the next game. So, fun, Vernon was victorious in that game. Let's have a look at the scores. And we can see that now, Marty has one point. Vernon has two points. He's taken the lead. It means nothing at this stage of the game. No. Well, no. you know that as well mm. as anybody. Yeah. So are you both ready to play on? No, I don't want to do that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what's next? Yes. It's Beat the Star Game 3. <laughs> so, it's Game 3, it's the three points, and it is the pole.
The guys have got to climb 10 meters to the top of the pole and ring the bell when they get to the top of it. They've got to stay up there for 30 seconds. Whoever is first to complete the first 30 seconds wins the point, wins the game. It's a long way up. It's the equivalent of going up the outside of a three-story building and standing on a soup plate once you get to the top. And it wobbles as well. Any questions, gentlemen? So yeah, when we get to the top, we've got to, we've got to stand on the, on the top of the pole and ring the bell and then it's 30 seconds. 30 Nothing's seconds changed. standing up there. Nothing's no, changed. No, no, exactly the same rules uh, as always. Marty, any questions? Yeah, so if I come off, happen to fall off, I yep. can get back on and climb again. We'll scrape you up and you go straight back to the top again. Okay. And it's first one to the top, <laughs> stand on top, stay there for 30 seconds, have him rung the bell. Absolutely. Both happy? Yep. All right, gentlemen, best of luck. Three, two, one. So this should hold no fears for our Royal Marine, all those assault courses behind him, and now nicely into his climbing. Well, have a look at Vernon on the near side here, those long levers propelling him towards the top of the pole, and they're virtually at the top together. Although Vernon is actually up on top first and rings the bell as Marty slips, and now Vernon holds on, although I'm not too sure about that. Marty trying to establish himself on top of the pole. Marty's countdown clock now begins. This is where they really have to maintain their balance, their gravity and their focus. When do I sign up for the Marines, my friend? Clock ticking down. Last five seconds here for Vernon. And Vernon just focusing out there, holding his position. And the 30 seconds is up for Vernon. They're off the poles, but I have to say, just wonder whether Dermot Gallagher, our referee, has got any concerns in his mind about the way that Vernon re-established his balance. Here you can see both of them moving up. They both did this really well. And it was, in fact, Vernon who gets up here. But have a look at this. He gets up, and this is fine. Rings the bell. That's OK. And then just suddenly loses balance and holds on to that rope. Whereas, I have to say, Marty, once he was on the top here, looked absolutely rock solid. OK, guys, right. That was a tricky one. Both OK? Yeah. 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 Aching. Aching. I'm not in all sorts of places you yeah. didn't know would ache. Listen, there is a problem here. Would you, would you both, uh, would both join me? So if I could bring in uh, our referee here. It's our official referee. It's Dermot. Dermot, you've, uh, you've been watching uh, that tape, watching the replay. What do you have to say? Um, Vernon, you clearly got to the top first, rung the bell. Um, you then toppled, in my opinion, grabbed the bell, and it saved you falling. Um, Marty completed the task in the 30 seconds. I don't think you got back up in time. I didn't fall off, that's why. Marty is the winner. Cool. There you go. That's the, uh, that's the official verdict. Well, Thank you very much. If you hadn't held on to the bell, you would have fallen off and you wouldn't have had time to get back up before he completed the task. That's it. Marty is the winner. Yeah, thank you very much indeed. Thank well you. Well done, Marty. Well you. done. How do you feel? Uh, super. Good decision. Yeah. Happy with that? Yeah, very happy. It was a tricky one, but I think, I think a fair one. You yeah. got up there pretty quick. Thanks. Like a rat up the drain pole. <laughs> yeah. Not hard, not phased? No, not at all. No, that's comfort zone. Was that as much fun as you thought it was going to be, apart from the fact you didn't get the points? More. Was yeah, it? more fun. Yeah, to be honest, the fact that I got to the top of the pole faster than a Royal Marine, uh, I'm quite pleased with that, to yeah? be honest with it, yeah. And that's what you'll be taking away with you today? Well, if you look at the tip, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> oh, well, let's have a look at the scores. We can see that we have four points to Marty and two points to Vernon. Marty takes the lead. Got to so Marty has got four more chances to beat Vernon K for £50,000. Is he man enough for the challenge? He's a Royal Marine! <laughs> Find out after the break. <laughs> Still to come, Marty gets a mouthful, but can he taste success? One of them's got hairs on it. Or will Vernon nail a victory? Find out in Beat the Star after the break. Tonight, Churchill, I challenge you to paint a picture blindfolded. Do you accept the challenge? Oh, yes.
Elvive Nutriglass, L'Oreal's first conditioner with pearl protein. It transforms dull hair into hair that shimmers with up to 85% more shine. With light reflecting booster technology, mirror shine, cashmere touch. Elvive Nutriglass from L'Oreal Paris. And now, for fine hair that gets greasy quickly, new Elvive Nutrigloss Light with Citrus. You're worth it. Summertime oh, oh. is panda time. Show us what you can do. you never seen bear style. How's that? <laughs> How did I do? Jack Black. Skadoosh. DreamWorks Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> At once when I saw you, I knew that I... Your Samsung NV camera with ultra-wide-angle lens sees millions of tiny points of light never cease to mystify and thousands of colors, all thanks to its advanced NV technology. You just see why you fell in love. The NV series by Samsung. Black Excess. Black Excess for her. The new fragrance by Paco Rabanne. I love having friends round. Actually, all my friends are round. Apart from you, Nigel. From only £395 per eye, you could enjoy laser vision correction for one of Europe's leading eye care specialists. Visit OpticalExpress.com now. Flora is committed to making the nation's hearts healthier. That's why we're helping your kids learn to cook healthy food in the classroom. Just collect tokens on special packs and get free cooking equipment for primary schools. Flora, love your heart. Miss the Debenham Summer Half Price Sale on thousands of lines. Now on. So, girls night in on Wednesday. What should we cook? What about sushi? I love yeah. sushi. Yeah. But how do you make it? Put the nori you rolled earlier on the sushi rice. More details. Use the cling film to roll the rice into a cylinder with the rolled nori at the center. Can't decide what to eat. Choose from 250 delicious dishes. That's amazing. Cooking for everyone with Cooking Guide, only on Nintendo DS. I woke up this morning and he was stone deaf. Doc Martin, he doesn't go in for pleasantries much. It's only a matter of time before your son's head explodes. What? Back to school, I think. Cameron, you are in big trouble! Martin Clune stars in the second series of Doc Martin, Tuesday at 9 on STV. We challenge Churchill to paint a picture blindfolded. Oh, how does it look? Is that any good? Churchill loves a challenge. Welcome back to Beat the Star, where 50 grand is on offer to Marty Aldridge. All he has to do to claim that cash is to beat tonight's star. <laughs> super confident, super competitive, Vernon Kay. After three games... <laughs> Excellent. After three games, this is how the scoreboard looks. We can see that Marty has four points, Vernon has two points. You were both good sports out there. Yeah, it's brilliant. Very how, good. how are you feeling? Uh, confident. Are That's you? what kills yeah. me. He's so confident. So confident. <laughs> He's untrue. He's psychologically beating me down. He's very calm. He is. Very calm. It's unbelievable. It's time for Beat the Star Game 4. <laughs> Come this way, gentlemen. Here we go. Would you like to take your seats at your respective tables? There we are. Welcome to our restaurant. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tasting game. 
I'll explain the rules. They will both be given three spoons with three different ingredients on each spoon. They'll be fed one spoon at a time, and whoever correctly guesses the most ingredients out of a possible nine will win the game. Now, as it's Blind Man's Buffet, they will be blindfolded whilst they're tasting. On your marine training, do you do that thing where you eat worms and yes, locusts that. and all that? Yeah, mm, yeah. Great. <laughs> they're all household ingredients tonight, though. It depends where you eat. <laughs> <laughs> I've just, I don't know whether those have just arrived at the top of the pole. I've just noticed a few grey hairs in there, Vernon Kane. I'm getting worried, you know. <laughs> That's how I started. <laughs> He's a tough competitor, our <laughs> man over there. Right, the ingredients that we're using tonight are completely different to those that you have used before. It's all been totally and completely changed. Right, Vernon is the star, of course, so he will go first. Blindfolds on. Marty, would you like to uh, pop on your... Headphones as well, so you can't hear what I'm saying. More importantly, you can't hear what Vernon is guessing. All right, Marty, can you hear me there, Marty? How are you doing, Marty? You all right? Yeah, everything all right, Marty? Marvellous. He's gone. Right, Laura, could you bring on the spoons, please? Thank you. Thank you very much. If you're ready, Vernon, mm -hmm. here we go. First one. Mouth open. If you're watching at home, you want to play, this is what they're eating. Salad cream. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> That's tuna fish. I think it's either tuna fish or an anchovy. It's very salty. I hope it's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone says that anchovies are salty. That's really salty, so I'm going to go on anchovy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Banana. I can tell you, you have got two right off that spoon. Two are correct. Here's your second spoon. Okay. OK, mouth open. OK. Got it. So, for you at home, this is what's on the second spoon. Celery. Boiled ham. Don't know whether it's Yorkshire. <laughs> I'll have to say ice cream. I don't know how it could be, but I'll have to say ice cream. OK. You've got two right. Mm. OK? Mm-hmm. Here's your third spoon. There you go. This is what he's eating. You're struggling. Mm. I'd have to say creme fraiche. Bit posh? No. <laughs> Gherkin or a pickle. That kind of, you know, a gherk, a little green thing. Yeah. No, we, we've got you. Yeah. That's the taste of paradise. Coconut. OK. Well, I can tell you that you have just scored another two correct. One was wrong on that spoon. Mm. So, you have scored six out of nine. Vernon, well done. Well done. Take the blindfold off. Let's uh, remove your headphones, Marty. And it's your turn. Now, Vernon got six out of nine. Right, Martin, this is spoon number one. Open your mouth and I'll stick it in there. There you go. All right, what's that? Three ingredients on that spoon. What do you think they are? That's disgusting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Any thoughts? One of them's got hairs on it. <laughs> Mayonnaise. Salt. And fish. We've got a boulder about to spit this out. Yep. There you go. That's right in front of you. <laughs> right. I'm going to need to ask you to be more specific than just fish. Haddock. Well, you've got 
one right there because it was mayonnaise. You got the salt and the haddock a bit mixed up actually because it was all one thing, it was anchovy. And the one that you missed completely was banana. So you got one on the first spoon. Here's your second spoon. Here you go, ready, open your mouth, and there. What's on the second spoon? Custard. Okay. Leek. And celery. Okay. You got two right on that spoon. It was custard, it was celery, and the one you missed was ham. There was ham in there. Right, <laughs> Marcy, this is your final spoon. You've got three ingredients. You need to get all three to tie with Vernon. Cream. Coconut, I think. Yeah, cream, coconut, and gherkin. Oh, yeah, one short there. It was gherkin and coconut, but the other one was butter. It was butter. No way! So you got two right, it gave you five. Vernon, you got the six. see how that affects the scores. We have Vernon on six and Marty on four. Vernon playing for his reputation, Marty playing for £50,000. So both of you wander over here to the podiums now. Take, uh, take your seats, up you go. Right, now you'll find if you do need a, uh, a glass of water, <laughs> there is a glass of water there in front of you. Coming into this competition tonight, uh, how, how confident did, did you feel? I mean, you've uh, watched the series, you, you know how it works. It's quite hard, but really, it's such diverse games to prepare for every eventuality, so I've just tried my hand at pretty much anything that I thought might be on there. Well, you're behind at the moment, of course, and it has swapped and changed. And uh, how, how are you feeling for the rest of the competition? Still confident. Yeah? Hopefully the next game will be more my bag and there's more points the further on we go, so... How do you feel now? I'm absolutely petrified. For me, it's not about beating March, it's, it's a personal kind of... I can do this, and I've been watching people do it and fail, and I think, ah, I can do that. And that's why I said what I said at the beginning of the show. I reckon I can beat everyone. If you are ready, let's play the next game. It is Beat the Star, game five. <laughs> game five is Nail It, and it's for five points. So, this is the game that, uh, that started the series. Vernon on this side, Marty on that side. Here are the rules of the game. They have both got a length of wood with 22 nails on the top. They have to bang as many nails in as they possibly can in 90 seconds. The nail must be flush to the wood. Whoever whacks in the most nails wins the game and five points. All right, Vernon. Well, you're going to go first. Get me whistle out. So, if you're uh, ready, your time starts. Oh, it's been. That second one's not quite in, but then... Take your time to take... That's it. Accuracy, accuracy. That's three in. We've got a minute left. That's four in. Five. Nicely done. Six. You're in the stride now. Well done. That's good. That's nine.
let's have a look here. Uh, Dermot, would you just come in and check this one for me, please? Oh, that's flush. I'd be happy if Marjana did that. No. <laughs> no. Oh, come on, that's Say flush. No. no. Sorry. All right, hold your pen there. That's no. That's happy okay. with these? Yep. Just check the others whilst yep. you're here. Yep. Yep. All OK. OK. 13 for Vernon Kay! <laughs> where are you hurting? Yeah. That's how I where, where does it hurt? Oh, then it's your forearms, and he's got big forearms, so... So, yeah. Marty, uh, any technique in mind, having watched Vernon do this? Yeah, just nail it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> very good. Very good. Your dad was a carpenter, was he? Yeah, he was, yeah. actually. Uh, did he teach you how to use a hammer? Uh, I played around as a kid, same as everyone else. Any good at DIY? Not bad. Putting shelves up? That's not bad. Stuff. Yeah, okay. Listen, mate, best of luck. You have to beat 13. Your time starts. Well done. So, let's see what that's, that's done to the scoreboard. And we can see now Woo! that Marty has nine and Vernon has six. He needs one more victory and the cash is his. Will he be able to leave here this evening with a big case of £50,000? Find out after the break. The big cash prize hangs in the balance. Can Marty use his brains as well as his brawn? This one got hard. Or will Vernon steal another victory? Show me the money! It's Beat the Star after the break. I challenge you to move this pen using only the powers of your mind. Do you accept this challenge? Oh, yes. Oh. The tomato and wild mushroom sauce has three kinds of wild mushroom for a deeper flavor. Lloyd Grossman, sauces with a distinctive voice. This summer, Watch out! you can uncover the secrets of a world. Magnetic rocks. Duck! Carnivorous plant that has been hidden. Where are we? The center of the earth. For 60 million years. Run! The journey to the center of the earth. Why have you ever seen a dinosaur before? I was skin on it! In 3D and selected cinemas July 11th. What did you say? Ginger. 
Ginger? I'm not Ginger. How many times do I have to tell you? Listen, pal, I'm an Oranja Tang. The clue is in me name. Oranjo Tang. I mean, how difficult can it be? Pillock. Come on, then. Come on. Listen, pal, what did you say? Yeah, I'm all right. See you in 15 minutes. Go, go, go. For fast relief from allergies, call on Benadryl Allergy Relief. It's the only capsule that gets to work in 15 minutes. Benadryl Allergy Relief. Gets to work in 15 minutes. All clear. The sun can break down some UV filters, so the protection you're getting may be lower than you think. Garnier Ombre Solaire milks are different. Over 50 years experience helped us develop photostable filters that don't break down. The protection you apply is the protection you get. Garnier Ombre Solaire milks. No one makes the sun safer. Take care. Garnier. Meet new Pure Foundation Mineral from Maybelline, New York. The difference. Our new micro minerals, so refined. Complete flawless coverage. Looks so healthy. Feather light. It lets skin breathe. A new flawless look for healthier looking skin. New Pure Foundation Mineral. See the difference for yourself. Run that past me one more time. <sighs> it's very simple, Al. PG Tips have teamed up with Rainforest Alliance to help make sure the people who pick the tea earn a decent living, have good working conditions, and medical care. <laughs> ah! Off, off. So, how do we do our bit? Keep drinking the delicious brew. That's it? Yes, Al. <sighs> OK. I've just done a little bit. So you have. And another. Oh, joy. And another. Next lesson, chewing. Easy. Too easy. <laughs> and another. And another. Wow, great new shoes. But they're going to kill her. Can't let that happen. Here we go. Compete blister patch with pain relieving gel can stop blister pain in 10 seconds. Freedom from blister pain with Compede. Be unstoppable. The unique new game show. Is everyone ready for a good old sing song? Yeah! Where the studio audience takes centre stage. I don't it. I don't it. But can they hold their notes and their nerves? and walk away with 50 grand. Who dares sings next Saturday at 8 on STV. We challenge Churchill to move a pen using only the powers of his mind. <laughs> Churchill loves a challenge. Pleasure series of Beat the Star, where Royal Marine Marty Aldrich is trying to beat the host of the show, Vernon Kay, for a prize of £50,000. So far, the score looks like this. Marty is in the lead with nine points, Vernon behind on six. The next game is worth six points. So, if Marty wins this, he wins £50,000. So, Vernon, you have to win this next game, otherwise you walk out of this studio a loser to a Royal Marine. Thank you. OK. <laughs> it's time for Beat the Star Game 6. <laughs> Mind the gap. It's Game 6, it's from Show 6, and it's worth six points. It's a head-to-head -head quiz, and here's how it works. Now, we're going to show you uh, a grid, guys, and, uh, and you have to answer alternately to fill up that grid. The first person <laughs> to give an incorrect answer, repeat an answer, or fail to give an answer, will lose that round. The first person to win three rounds will win the game. So, you understand the rules? Mm. Yes. All happy? Mm. Vernon, these are brand new grids. You've never yep. seen them before. OK. OK. I am going to uh, toss a coin to decide who answers first. Marty, heads or tails? Heads. It is heads. Would you like to go first or second? I'll go first. You're going to go first. All right. Here's your first grid. Tell me the names of the cities that have hosted the Summer Olympics so far. Los Angeles. 
And you're right. Barcelona. 1932 and 1984, straight in with Barcelona, yeah? Barcelona is correct. That was 1992. Paris. Yes, it is. 1900 and 1924, Vernon. Sydney. In 2000. Back to you, Marty. Berlin. Yes, 1936. Athens. Twice, 1896 and 2004. Marty. Tokyo. And his rights, 1964. Seoul. In 1988. Lisbon. Lisbon. Is Lisbon on the board? No, it's not. That's no, hard. it's not. That is hard. First grid to you, Vernon. Yeah, it is tough. Let's look at the others. There you go. If you were shouting out at home, those are the ones that... <laughs> so obvious! Didn't get London. Oh, right. I didn't know we had hosted it before. Yeah, I know we got go. it in the future, but... So, there we go. First grid to Vernon, but uh, there's still everything to play for. That's just one grid. Here's the next one. Prime Ministers oh, since 1945. 50,000 pounds on this, no one said it was gonna be easy. Vernon, John you're Major. first. John Major. Is there. 1990 to 1997. Marty. So Winston Churchill. 1945 and then 1951 to 55. Tony Blair. 97 to 2007. Margaret Thatcher. 79 to 90. Gordon Brown. There he is, 2007 to the present. I'm going to have to go for a complete stab in the dark because I don't know any others. Don't rush it, don't rush go it. Go with guessing a surname. I'm going to go with white. It's worth a go, but... It's not right. Let's have a look at Carol the ones Wilson. you missed out. Yeah, there's Attlee, there's Eden, there's Macmillan, Sir Alec Douglas Hume, Harold Wilson, Ted Heath, Callahan, Callahan James Callahan. Um, yeah. Let's try an, another grid. You need this one now. This is really important, Marty. If Vernon gets this grid, then we go into game seven. Please name all the films starring Tom Cruise in the last 20 years. Now, Top Gun and The Colour of Money were both out in 1986, okay? I, sorry, repeat the question for so me, So the please. question is, all the films starring Tom Cruise for the last 20 years. So it's since 88. Marty, you're first. Tom Cruise fan? No. <laughs> Mission Impossible. War of the Worlds. Collateral. No sequels, by the way, here as well, okay? <laughs> no sequels, just in case you were thinking about it. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Show me the money! <laughs> Jerry Maguire. I hope it's there. It is. <laughs> Gonna have a it's, it's fifty thousand pounds. It's fifty thousand pounds. You're gonna have, have a go. A you said Remember white for prime have ministers. Guess. Have a guess. Don't don't say nothing. Have a guess. Have a punt. I'm gonna go with, and I think it's before '86. Cocktail. And it's there. Worth having a guess. Born on the 4th of July. Oh, Marty, it's back with you. <laughs> Where did you get cocktail from? I don't know. Just came to me. <laughs> don't quite know how. <laughs> They've got to have seen the film. Just got to see if you can do it again because we don't know whether Vernon's got another one in his head. I'm going to have to uh, 
I, I haven't got another guess in me that good. Nothing at all. Marty, if you could Nothing just say, you just say just anything. An answer now could take you one step closer to fifty thousand pounds. That's why you can't give in. Oh. You're a rain man. Is rain man there? Yes, it is. Is there? <laughs> Is it there? No. I'd like Just to say that it's at the back of my head again, but it's not. There are 12 there. Is the one that you're toying with and you're just not sure whether it's right? I've got it. I'm, I'm blank at the moment. Nothing there? Nothing there at all. No ideas whatsoever at the moment. No, that's me. Are you sure? I'm positive. If you say now that you have nothing there, there is no answer, Vernon wins the, wins the grid? Yep. And wins the game? Yep. I'm going to put my faith in the last game because I, I don't have an answer for this. You're going to risk it all on the last game? I am. So, just to make it absolutely clear, you're now saying you don't have an answer. I don't have an answer. In which case, there you go. <laughs> game six goes to Vernon. <laughs> so, here you go. We've got... Uh, Born on the 4th of July, got Days of Thunder, Far and Away, Few Good Men, The Firm, Interview with a Vampire, any of these, um... No, Minority, Last Samurai. Minority Report, possibly. Yeah. There were six points on offer, and they have gone to Vernon. So let's see how that has affected the scoreboard. It means that... It's 12 to Vernon, 9 for Marty. It all goes to the seventh and final game. Marty, one more game, and I think you feel confident about this, for £50,000. You know what's coming. It's Beat the Star, game seven. It is the Deathly Hang Bar. It's for the final seven points of the competition. This is a, a pure test of upper body strength and stamina. <laughs> so... Cheers, mate. I'm going to throw that in. <laughs> <laughs> Here are the rules. Let's go through them. They've, um, they've got the bar above them, as we've seen in the series before. <laughs> they must grip it with their hands, and then on my signal... Come on, Burnham. <laughs> on my signal... The benches below them will be removed and they have to hang for as long as they can. The first person to lose their grip and drop is out. Cheers, mate. OK, put some uh, chalk on your hands. You must keep your hands either side of your head. All right? Do you have can any you other move, questions? Can you move your hands slightly if you need to? If you need to, you can move your hands. Yeah. Marty, how are you feeling? Strong. Are you? Yeah, Vernon, you finished, John. <laughs> no, well, you know, like I said, it's his job to be strong, it's his job to be physically fit, so uh, if everyone owns having, like, a pound here, ten p there, then I know where my money would be going, it wouldn't be on me. <laughs> <laughs> so you've taken him to game seven. This has been a very, very tough competition all yeah. night. He has been good. really... You've, you've been a fantastic competitor. It's, I think that, you know, we, we've, had a good, we've had a good duel. It, it's been good, you know. Whatever happens, we're going to have a beer at the end together. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, with well, 50k, you could be buying it. <laughs> right, guys. We can't put it off any longer. Step up to your bar. It is eyeball to eyeball, man to man. Gentlemen, the best of luck. Marty, this is for £50,000. Well, I don't think Marty needs much reminding about that, having pinned all his hopes on this game. Worth seven points.
but it is as much a test of mental strength as it is of physical ability. Both men establishing themselves in their own zones. Marty, the heavier, but not by much, just seven pounds. And look at the contrast. Uh, and some signs of tension there on Marty's face, I would say. Vernon, I have to say, looking very comfortable. Head down. Both of them using the classic lock on, wrapping the thumb around the fingers in this test of upper body strength. Both looking pretty solid at the moment. This is where the lactate starts to build up, coming up to the end of the first minute, and so much at stake. Surely we've got to put our money, as Vernon suggested, on the marine. <laughs> but Well, Vernon, cool as a cucumber, a few mind games. My shoulder's just gone. I'm not sure I'd be giving away that to my opponent. More cheers now for Marty, just adjusting there. Oh, oh, and he slipped! Goodness gracious me! He tried to adjust his hands, they were moist, and the star has prevailed, and I think the whole auditorium just got at the same time. Amazing. I don't believe that's just happened. I do not believe, thank you, that that has just happened. What the hell happened there? It just slipped off as I went to move my hand slightly. I am, personally, I am Amazing. totally gutted for it, you. He's been, he's been the best competitor we've had on the show, and to be opposite... for a living, ultra competitive, and I honestly thought that that was game over. When I felt that tear in the shoulder, I thought, oh no. Well, I my goodness me, let's uh, let's have a look at the uh, at the scoreboard. Vernon has 19 points. Marty has nine. I'm actually now going to get out of the way because I'm going to give you a job. Oh, okay, so, uh, thank you very much. Well. That's all right. Thank you very much. Philip Scorfield, everyone. That's it for this series of Beat the Star. We've had some formidable stars and some amazing challenges across the eight shows. A big thank you to all of them, to Marty, of course, and to Philip. And from all of us at Beat the Star, good night! Oh, don't you just feel for Marty? Well, it's tonight on his TV, high drama in the first of a new series of The Royal. At nine, echoes of the past in tonight's Taggart investigation. Then later on at 10.45, the things that didn't quite go according to plan in TV's naughtiest blunders. Churchill loves a challenge. For more program information, click on to www.stv.tv. Jake! Right here. You have to not get rid of him. Oh, you dear. You let him in, you get rid of him. Are any of you familiar with Proverbs? Chapter 1. Verse 13. Right. I'm not sitting with these pair of bums all night. Real life with altitudes. High times, Thursday at 10.40 on STV. Looking to save money on your car insurance? Visit gocompare.com. Just tell them everything your policy has to have. They'll compare the best prices from loads of insurance companies and show you which quotes come with everything you ask for using their special five-star rating. So visit gocompare.com. Why go compare anywhere else? Ah, 
our Pizza Hut stuffed crust with warm melted cheese. And now for a limited time, we're stuffing it with pepperoni too. Yes, the pepperoni and cheese stuffed crust means there's an extra happy ending with every slice. For the pleasure of standing out with Envive by Always, new for sensitive bladder. Protection has never been thinner thanks to its super absorbing micro channels. Let your confidence stand out. New Envive by Always. From only £395 per eye, you could enjoy laser vision correction for one of Europe's leading eye care specialists. Visit OpticalExpress.com now. Whatever type of holiday you decide on, a Barhead Travel own brand holiday could save you money. Our colossal buying power allows us to enjoy special prices with many low-cost airlines and hoteliers. The same locations, flights, accommodation and quality for less by cutting out the tour operator's overheads. Why pay more? Book with Barhead and you're laughing. The secret of a perfect fit. Style that lasts. Secret. New from LG. If you want to reduce the amount of unwanted mail you receive, simply call 08451 550022 or visit fifedirect.org.uk forward slash waste aware. Reduce waste and let's get it sorted with Waste Aware Fife. Here's a fantastic summer tyre deal from Farmer Auto Care. 10,000 tyres fitted from an amazing 1895 each from our classic range. Plus top brands like Firestone, Bridgestone and Dunlop, all at low, low prices. But hurry, when they're gone, they're gone. Farmer Auto Care, better by far for you and your car. All the brands you like serving up are in the shop that likes keeping the prices down. Farm Foods Whole Leg of Lamb, 6 95 Two bird's eye seaside specials battered fish fillets, just a pound. Betty Smith's chunky apple pie, only one fifty. Farm Foods, where customers count. Get in there, it's back of the net. Win the ultimate home kit. A 42-inch LCD TV, a PlayStation 3, a fridge full of beer, and your very own football table. Get in there. This is the perfect prize for a night in with your mates. So, for your chance to win, just tell us who's back of the net. Is it A, Cameron Diaz, B, Jordan, or C, Julia Roberts? Phone 0901 293 34 33 or text the word NET followed by A, B or C plus your name and town to 83788. Calls and texts cost £1 plus your standard network rates. Mobile rates may vary. Entrants must be 18 or over. Details at stv.tv slash win. Lines close 9pm Thursday and the winner will be announced by 10pm on Thursday. Good luck. Well, a trophy wife meets an untimely end in Taggart tonight at 9. First on STV, disaster looms in the first of a new series of The Royal. And the programme contains some scenes of a surgical nature. <laughs>